Good afternoon. My name is Jinrai, and I've decided to stream a little bit this afternoon as a bonus. Uh, I wanted to test out some new audio settings that I have arranged for myself uh, to see if it works a little better than what I've been doing. Uh, not that what I was doing before was bad, but figured it doesn't hurt to give it a test. And so I thought, uh, what better way to do that than by streaming something and seeing how it turns out. So what I will be streaming this afternoon is a game called Impasto, um, which is a uh, uh, an art term uh, for using very thick uh, swaths of paint uh, in a painting. And uh, what it is, it is a game that is... Uh, taken inspiration from the life and works of uh, Francisco Goya, a Spanish painter from the uh, late 17th and early uh, 18th centuries. Um, it's, uh, it's a free game. It just came out on Steam uh, like a couple days ago, uh, and it looked interesting, so I thought, uh, eh, sure, why not? It's free. I'll give it a shot, see how it looks, and see how it plays, and uh, Francisco, Goya's, uh, Francisco Goya's works, you know, pretty cool, so... Uh, uh, yeah, so I thought I'd just give it a go. Uh, it's developed by uh, Impasto Team, is, is what they're called. Uh, it's published by Juggernaut Entertainment and USC Games, and the description of the game on Steam reads, uh, Impasto is a first-person uh, first horror adventure game inspired by the works and legacy of Francisco Goya, the uh, revered yet tortured Spanish painter, set within a world irreversibly altered by his fraying sanity. The player must use both stealth and wits to survive. So yeah, so here we go. Let's give it a shot. I've actually not, I just played a little, you see the continue thing there. I played it just uh, for a couple of seconds just to make sure it was going to run okay. Uh, but I have not seen anything else of it except for that. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, it, it does look interesting. Amir Hart, hi, how you doing? Um, let's, yeah, let's see how this, let's see how this looks. The Sleep of Reason produces monsters. Francisco of Goya. To my dear Mariano, I write to inform you that I will soon be leaving Spain behind. Know that I sail from her with a heavy heart, but the Spain I am leaving is not the one I once knew. War and sickness are everywhere. I tried my best to keep faith, but through my waning health, my body is telling me what my heart tried to ignore. It's time to stop fighting. For what time I have left, I would like to know peace. I hope you understand why I cannot bear to remain in that house. So I'm leaving it to you, the hands of the future. You must be prepared for what I have left you. It will be hard to understand, and at times, it may even frighten you. My mind has taken me down dark roads better left untraveled. And even within the best of us, the sleep of reason produces monsters. Signed, with love, Goya Azunieto. So here we are, outside the house. Looks okay. A little, little bleak, maybe, with the rain, but not too bad. Take a look inside.
Grandfather's time in this house marks a dark period in his history. He must try and understand the reasons for his disappearance. Candle hat. A strange contraption Grandfather must have used to paint when the sun sank low. Through the darkest of days, he would let nothing interrupt his work. So, yeah, he had a hat and he put some candles on it so he could see what he was doing in the dark. Seems like that would get hot. Well, now we know this is a horror game. Locked doors. Hello? Oh, it's the it's it's the paintings. He's humming. And the guy's whispering in the other guy's ear. Hmm. Doctor's note, a letter from Senor Arieta to Grandfather. To the true court painter, Francisco de Goya. I speak to you now as both your personal physician and a friend, which is why this letter is penned with the heaviest of hearts. I know you must seek relief from your inexplicable deafness, but it is a relief that medicine cannot uh, simply cannot provide. I will pray for your health, and that the hardship you have suffered does not warp your wondrous imagination. If your hearing is to ever return, it will be the Lord who grants uh, you it, not I. With best wishes and warm regards, Eugenio Garcia Arieta. That is what it says. Francisco de Goya did uh, famously go deaf. I know this painting. This is called The Witch's Sabbath. <laughs> Tarnish Medallion. Proof of one's place within the Royal Order of Spain, an order of knights and renowned citizens. Yet it looks to have never seen the light of day. Saturn devouring his son. Another painting I, I know. I, I love the chewing noises there. Um, sounds, sounds real tasty. sounding than Saturn over there.
Aha. Uh -huh. House key, a rusty key. It should open a different part of the house. Well, I'm saying there's only one other place I can go. I hope it's the key for that. Oh, I actually have a bag. Ah, I brandish my key. Goya's cane. Grandfather's walking stick. He always seemed so much happier during the days he could step outside without it, but as his illness worsened, he came to rely upon it more and more. I'm guessing that's paint that it's stained with. Yeah, it's like green and black and red. Royal Decree. The King's Manifesto pinned at the end of a long and brutal war. Grandfather had hoped it would be the first step in a brighter future. However, it instead ordered the destruction of the Constitution, mass arrests, and the restoration of the Inquisition. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, I'm not going to try to read all that Spanish. It took three years of French a very long time ago. Uh, yep, looks like everything's in, in order and awful. Always seems weird. I'm, I'm, it's, I'm guessing it's a trick of the light, but whoa, whoa, that's okay. Let's, let's wait on that. With it. Oh, there's not a handle. There's a knocker, or I guess none of these have really had handles. I guess that is the handle. Uh, but regardless, I can't open that one. So, um, okay. I guess we'll, I guess we'll take a look at this then. We're not 
going back. Hello. It's very quiet. Um, now we're inside of a painting. I'm I'm sure this won't go poorly at all. I mean, they didn't mention that we were going mad. Oh, hey, there's somebody. Hello? Uh, oh, okay. Well, bye then. Oh, hey. Hello? They're having a bonfire. Well, that's, that's nice, right? Nice evening... Nice evening bonfire. Gather around, maybe we'll pull out a guitar, sing a little Kumbaya. Roast some marshmallows, make s'mores. No. Oh. Hello. This one looks familiar. Man, if you say so. Child, name yourself. Um. Mariano Goya. <laughs> we know you, boy. Grandson of the great Francisco de Goya. And a smear upon his legacy. Hey. A gambler, a drunkard, and a disappointment. Oh. Well, okay then. Um... Are you here to make amends or pick his bones dry? I mean, I can't see why it can't be both. Shame the way he sees you. Everything but what you truly are. Yet, you should not have come here. This is Zaragoza, your grandfather's home woven into the paint, and it stands at the brink of collapse. The town portends the dusk, becoming of calamity. Do 
This is the artist's nightmare. <laughs> and ye of flesh and bone have no place amongst it. Well, I mean, it's fine, but I, I can't leave. Okay, well, let's ask about the Masked Men first. You speak of the holy men. They are the church's inquisition, the blessed bastion. They roam these darkened streets, purging that which does not belong. They suffer not the heretic. By fire and brimstone, they will make our city pure. Oh yes, we are all quite familiar with the great Francisco de Goya. Well, if he painted you, that makes sense. Twas by his hand that we were painted. See? Pride of Spain and last of the old masters. Pity he couldn't change anything. Look at him. So marred in misery that he's brought these lands to ruin. <laughs> but then again, I can't imagine a wretch like you would care. It's not like you did before. Well, then how do I get out of here? Is much easier said than done, but perhaps. Very well, child. If you wish to leave Zaragoza, then seek out the blind man on the edge of town. <laughs> yes, yes. Consort with a madman like him enough, and I'm sure you'll find your way out of town. Well, great, thanks. One way or another. That doesn't sound ominous at all. The blind guitarist sneak through the alley. The two old ones spoke of a blind man through the alley. Perhaps he can help you. Perhaps he can. That would be great. Oh, okay. Well, I guess they mean that alley. Dig in your hole. Music's really good. Oh, well, he was easy to find. Hey, buddy. Come, won't you sit with me? It would be a shame to enjoy these stars alone. Sure. Why not? 
she was not always like this, you know. Please, do not blame Zaragoza for the state she's in. She was once so warm, before this oppressive curse left her fraught with fear and darkness. You see, the hope has bled from her, and she must be reminded of her old days if she is to heal. Here, let me play you a song from her past. It'd do you more good to hear for yourself. Oh, awesome. Great. Keep playing. Keep playing. Door was. Unfortunately, I know only fragments, and the rest is lost upon sheets scattered throughout the town. Ah. Though they bear the Lord's crosses and noble insignia, they have twisted his teachings to justify man's greed and hatred. Do well to avoid them. Okay, don't get caught by the Inquisition. Got it. Um, let's let's be as insensitive as possible. Ah, one of the many things these shadows have claimed. Struck with a violent illness, I awoke to find nothing but an endless void of black surrounding me. Tis at times hard to endure. All right. I'll go on your collectathon. You would truly offer me aid. Thank you. Absolutely. I believe the first sheet still roams around the town, evading all who seek it. What, does it have legs? It shan't be easy, and the Inquisition is sure to dog your every step. But know one thing for certain. If you bring me music, I can always play. Find the lost music sheet. In order to escape Zaragoza, you must find the music sheet. You should begin by searching the sewers. So I'm guessing this is my way out. Then. Not walk into the fire. Alright, well, I'm assuming it's not gonna be. Oh, I was gonna say, so I'm assuming it's not back the way we came, but, um, it's closed, so. Do I need to sprint? I'll need to, to run away or whatnot, right? I don't know if the church is going to be the safest place to go. So obviously we're going to end up there at some point. Gentlemen. Hmm. A conspicuously pointed out barrel. No, oh, I can pop a hole out and, and watch them stroll on by. Hiding in barrels is a thing.
piece of sewers. Hello. Don't mind me. Thief. I can lean and crouch. Hard to do, though. It's kind of uncomfortable. Whoops. <laughs> okay. I'm going to wait for him to walk uh, walk away. That was, uh, I took that a little too fast. Well, let me know what happens. walking down the path and then go around. There we go. Works a lot better when I don't panic. Oh, hey. Whoa. Hey, man. Okay, I guess he wasn't kidding about not wanting to be caught. one's a little more useful. I'm not sure if he's coming back. Don't want to take any chances, but I can't look around. Maybe he's not coming back.
Woo. What was that? Oh. Oh, that uh oh. Oh shoot. I missed. Uh go go go. Go 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 go. Nope. <laughs> okay, well. Don't don't miss your jump. Is what I learned. Oh, hi. <laughs> He's right underneath me. They're they're hard to spot. It's it's a lot of black on black. So he goes a fair ways. So when he's heading that direction, I should be safe to go. See, my problem was I was trying to keep up with the page to see where it was going, and I should have just taken my time. Sprinting and jumping is a thing. Oh, yep. That can't stop.
Where did it go? Oh. Um. Hmm? Hmm? Can I interact with those? Oh! There it is. Music sheet. The paper has been worn with time and smudged by the touch of fingers upon the ink. It must have been very dear to someone. Okay. Obviously, this is the only sheet he's going to need. After this, we'll be we'll be we'll be good. We'll be getting out of here in no time. There we go. There's our buddy. Hey, buddy. Ah, you've returned. And by that sound of rustling paper, it seems you were able to chase down the sheet. Huh. Yes, yes, I think I'm beginning to understand. But alas, it's just as I thought. I fear that this sheet alone is not quite enough, and I must ask you to retrieve a second. Of course. What little good news I can offer is that it should not be hard to find. The Inquisition has confiscated it. And as with all matters they deem heretical, it lies somewhere within their darkened cathedral. Of course. Of course, getting into the church district and past the many inquisitors who guard it will not be a trifling matter. Of course. Yet we may still be in luck, for I know a woman in town who may know a way to sneak you in. Her name is Judith, and she often frequents me in this courtyard. Okay, I will go speak with her. Good luck, my friend. Know that I appreciate all that you are doing for Zaragoza. Speak with Judith. The guitarist told you Judith might know a way into the church district. Ask her for help. Oh, that must be her. Those masked fools have not known peace since you arrived, grandson of Goya. You seem surprised I know of you. Zaragoza might look like she's fallen, but like a desert viper, she's alert waiting for a chance to strike. I assume you're here for a way into the church district. Hmm. A barrel wagon runs in and out of the district carrying supplies. That's your way into their domain. The melody you seek lies within a vault hidden beneath the cathedral, built to bury what those cowards cannot simply turn to ash. Once you're in the district, find the priest still true to God's cause. He'll give you the key to the graveyard beyond which lies the vault. So they can't just they can't just burn the music. They know it's heretical. They can they can't just burn it. I mean, I guess the one page was flying around magically 
but uh, okay anyway yet beware the path you take has stolen countless brave souls from Zaragoza it gives from us all that gives us hope glowing meadows laughter dance and old friends happy memories from a time long gone the Goya I knew are lost to this darkness they locked up glowing meadows laughter dance and old friends in the vault even one of the old gods met his demise there trapped within that vault okay what about my grandfather oh <laughs> your grandfather was a bit of a rogue back when I knew him oh well even in the courts he outwitted those with more riches than worth painting them as hideous buffoons while convincing them it was high art. Yet roguish as he was, he felt the pain and suffering of the common folk. He wished things to be better. It's a shame what his world has become. Well, goodbye. The alley to the right of the sewer entrance. That's where you will find the cart. Oh, you got really quiet there. For the sake of Zaragoza, I beseech Lady Luck to take your side this once. In an alley to the right of the sewers. You saw nothing. And now we wait. These are terribly useful. Oh, okay. Judith's informant, a priest, holds the key to the graveyard. Find the priest and get the key.
Ooh. Whoops. Eh. Too fast. Too fast. sure when it, it's hard to tell when he's going to be observant and when he's not going to be he might just be turning around too fast in that corner i guess maybe i should just go There we go. Um. Graveyard key. Key to the graveyard taken from the dead priest. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, bud. That's the graveyard.
Oh, right. anything around. Mysterious parchment. It portrays a plan that leads to the church. The structure on the top left seems to be the temple in the distance. sure that I comprehend this map yet. Oh, odd device. This puzzle seems to match the map underneath it. The church windows also seem familiar. to get I have to get the the big thing into where the church is at and then hit the switch with the other one That wasn't that wasn't so bad. Wait, so what do we have here? Rar. Ah.
Okay, what I opened was back here. Goya himself. One of his. Ah! <laughs> they finally something startled me. There's another version of this painting where she's naked. Seems Goya's painting is the only one that moves. I have to admit that did that did startle me. I wasn't expecting it. If I open this cage and it flies off and I have to go chase it down, I, I'm I'm going to be upset. Oh good. It was already open. The music sheet roughened by the harsh hands of the Inquisition, yet its notes remain. I gotta say this is this game is oh we just oh that was very nice of them they just teleported me right right out but I was gonna say that this game I, I have to admit I really like the aesthetic of this game it really looks and sounds really cool it's it's really it's really it's really neatly done. I just, I just like the aesthetic. <laughs> Tell me this is no dream, Faragotha, free at last. Oh, what I would give to see this moment, to have my eyes return for but a second. Alas, the sound of freedom will have to suffice. Very well. I believe this is where we part ways. Well, let's ask my grandfather first. There are few men who could ever hope to depict beauty in the way he could. Yet it is from those to whom God gives the most that he tests the most. His affliction was a tragedy, one to which I can too wholly relate. A painter robbed of his ears, and a musician robbed of his sight. What a pair we made. Hmm. Well, thanks, buddy. Good luck, and may our paths cross again. Must be the temple. Oh yeah, and they just took me right up here. Music. 
useful for wandering through the darkness. Zeus, or Jupiter, I suppose, in this case. Mm. Yep, he, Saturn seeing Jupiter uh, and his siblings attacking him. Being grumpy about it. So, yeah, that's a story, Saturn suspected his children would try to overthrow him, so he didn't want them to do that, so he, you know, he ate them all. Oh, okay. Thought I was going to need the torch. It's not... Well, I feel like I pull it out. No, nope, not going back that way. We interrupted his snack. <laughs> well, time to go. I guess my biggest concern right now is I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to be going. Oop.
Okay. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. No, he can just he can just hang out in his chair. Okay, I can't see a damn thing. Is do I still have the torch? Oh, because I dropped it. So what was the point of coming up here? Can't continue. Oh, there we go. Okay, I can't. I can only assume this is not going to kill me. I can. You've seen my sin. Oh. How I tore my own son apart. Leave now before my temper once more gets the better of me. Uh, well, apparently I'm going to stay. You seek to know what happened. Tis what always happens, child. I grew old and weak. My son hovered like a vulture, waiting to pick my carcass clean. I knew I had no choice, that he would turn against me. The prophecy had sworn to me. I was so confident that it was all true. Yet even now, I hear him beg me to stop. Tis this cave that broke me, this never-ending solitude, alone with my thoughts. I felt my reason turn to dust. Perhaps, in the end, trapped in a darkened villa. Your grandfather felt the same. Well, what do you know about my grandfather? This painted world was his heart. In times past, it was his hopes, his dreams. Now it festers with disgust at what his world had become. He saw the evils in his country and he painted them here. He felt the darkness in himself and painted me. Your grandfather is dying, Mariano. And soon these lands will fade along with him. We would have let this world stay buried, defiled by this curse. But you changed that. You found the light he lost. While he was off to play the fool, he was never blind to your many vices. Yet, as you know, he always believed in you. Walk tall, son of Goya, for I believe you have proved him right.
Um, all right. Well, thanks. Um, how do I, how do I get out of here? Now I go up the stairs? Oh, okay. Yeah, now I go up the stairs. <laughs> okay. I found the exit before I actually talked to him. Oh, good for me. That, that was the game. Um, well, okay. Uh, yeah, so that was Impasto. Um, that was that was that was a neat little game. I I I I really I kind of enjoyed it. It was uh, it was a good time. Um, it was short. Um, but that's all right. And you know, uh, the the ending was a bit the ending was a bit sudden. I I guess I uh, got a little too. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, I guess I, uh, I, I guess I was a little too, uh, um, I guess the game had taught me a, a little too much about, you know, trying to stay hidden there, but I, sh uh, there at the end, and I guess I should have just walked up to Saturn and not tried to, I tried to sneak around him, but I didn't have any way to know that that's what I wanted to do, and, you know, I, I kind of suspected maybe I was supposed to walk up to him, because since he was just sitting there, but I didn't want to take any chances with it, I guess. 
So I went. I tried to go around him. Um, uh, so kind of kind of threw the ending off a little bit there. But it was still, you know, it was still like I said, it was a neat, it was a neat little game. It was uh, the music's music's great. Sound sound is sounds really good. Um, the uh, the the painterly style of the world was uh, was interesting to look at. Um, all in all, uh, you know, for uh, it feels like you know it feels like a sh- oh it feels almost like a like a demo or a preview of, of of something bigger. So I'm wondering if they're planning on doing anything larger uh, in the future. I can only assume that's the that's the hope, right? That this is a f- free game to kind of get people sort of interested in this what they can do and then do something else with it um, on down the road and I hope they do uh, because I, I really did I really did enjoy this and I thought uh, Impasto team did a did a good job um, got a little tricky there with with some of the uh, some of the stealth sections but you know it was you know it wasn't like brutally hard and really most of the times that I got caught were my own my own mistakes, just me trying to rush things and or mistiming stuff. It wasn't, you know, the game's fault in any way, shape, or form. And then, you know, the game didn't overstay its welcome. It, you know, it did what it wanted to do and got it done. So yeah, that was that was Impasto. Free game on Steam that you can play whenever. You know, and so that actually becomes the first game that I have completed for my backlog. It was just added to my black backlog, and now it's already done. So, thank you for watching. Uh, uh, please, uh, if you liked uh, what you've seen, um, you know, follow and turn notifications on uh, for when I do uh, stream again in the future. Uh, obviously, the more people that that, that follow, the more uh, idea I'm getting that people are liking what I'm doing. So that really helps out a lot. Thank you very much. Um, Otherwise, I will see you again soon.